Unit 8, Lesson 4, Dot Plots. Number 1. Claire recorded the amounts of time spent doing homework in hours per week by students in 6th, 8th, and 10th grades. She made a dot plot of the data for each grade and provided the following summary. Students in 6th grade tend to spend less time on homework than students in 8th and 10th grades. The homework times for the 10th grade students are more alike than the homework times for the 8th grade students. Use Claire's summary to match each dot plot to the correct grade, 6th, 8th, or 10th. Claire mentioned that the 6th graders tended to spend less time on homework than students in 8th and 10th grade. So I selected dot plot B to be the sixth grade dot plot because the majority of their hours were less than dot plot A and dot plot C. She also mentioned that the homework times for the 10th grade students are more alike than the homework times for the 8th grade students. So I selected dot plot C for the 10th grade students as the majority of their hours are more alike than those hours in dot plot A. So the one that's left over would be dot plot A for the 8th grade students. They spend more time than the 6th grade students, and they're more spread out than the 10th grade students. So dot plot A represents the 8th grade students. Number 2. Mai played 10 basketball games. She recorded the number of points she scored and made a dot plot. Mai said that she scored between 8 and 14 points in most of the 10 games but one game was exceptional. During that game, she scored more than double her typical score of nine points. Use the number line to make a dot plot that fits the description Mai gave. There's a variety of ways to answer this, but first I'd like to plot the exceptional game where she more than doubled her typical score of nine points. So if I double nine points, I get 18. And she said that it would have been more than double nine points. So I'm going to put a dot at 20 to represent that game. Next, I'd like to put quite a bit of dots above nine because she said that nine was her typical score. So I put four dots to represent four games where she scored nine points. I put two dots over 10 to represent two games where she scored 10 points. I put one dot over 11. 1 dot over 12, and 1 dot over 13. Combined, there's a total of 10 dots to represent the 10 games that she played. Nine of those dots fall between 8 and 14 points. The 10th dot falls above the 20 to represent the 20 points that she scored in one game. Number three, a movie theater is showing three different movies. The dot plots represent the ages of the people who were at the Saturday afternoon showing of each of these movies. A. One of these movies was an animated movie rated G for general audiences. Do you think it was movie A, B, or C? Explain your reasoning. I think it was movie B. Movie B had a much younger audience than movie A and C. B. Which movie has a dot plot with ages that center at about 30 years? I picked movie C because most of their audience was between the ages of 25 and 35. C. What is a typical age for the people who were at movie A? The typical age for people who were at movie A is about 40 years old. The majority of the people at movie A were between the ages of 35 and 45, which would be 40 years old. Number four, find the value of each expression. A, three and 727 thousandths plus one and 384 thousandths, or 3.727 plus 1.384. The sum is 5 and 111 thousandths, or 5.111. B. 3 and 727 thousandths minus 1 and 384 thousandths. The difference is 2 and 343 thousandths. C. 5 and 1 hundredths times 4 and 8 tenths. 
the product is 24 and 48 thousandths. D. 5 and 1 hundredths divided by 4 and 8 tenths. If we make the 4 and 8 tenths 10 times larger, the number becomes 48. Then we'd also have to make the 5 and 1 hundredths 10 times larger, and that would become 50 and 1 tenth. So 5 and 1 hundredth divided by 4 and 8 tenths is equivalent to 50 and 1 tenth divided by 48. And the quotient is 1.04375 or 1 and 4,375 hundred thousandths. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8, Lesson 4, Dot Plots. <laughs> <laughs>